right, so coming up in March 1st, GitHub's changing the way GitHub Actions work with Dependabot PRs. This change is gonna treat all these Dependabot PRs as if they are forks to your repo. So they will not have access to things like the GitHub token. So if you're using those in any of your PRs, uh, consider changing over to pull request target, but also keep in mind uh, the GitHub action security vulnerabilities with pull request target. Uh, definitely check out that article. So real quick, I'm gonna show off a GitHub action that I simply just dumped the context of your GitHub action environment into the logs. Uh, this is actually kind of helpful if you don't wanna use teammate or run the actions locally. Uh, you can actually get all the context just right then and there. Uh, it's a nice little debugging tool. Uh, this is a simple action. I just have it already set up on this bot test repo. So I'm gonna leverage this as my example. Uh, here you can see the context being dumped. And then I just wanna now point to this action at YAML and show you how you can sort of uh, protect against the leverage of the pull request target using conditionals. Now conditionals is a flag that you can add to your steps to check for different contexts from previous jobs. So if I'm gonna use the pull request target, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and test with a conditional to check to see if the pen the bot is indeed the GitHub actor. And the way to check this, the inverse is to flip the flag and now to check to see if it works and the action indeed did not run. Uh, one other thing I wanna add to as well is the fact that if you wanted to have a failure on if the pen the bot is indeed running for whatever reason, you could have to just run exit one uh, as a force failure. Uh, but keep in mind, if you have a conditional and it's not the pen the bot and you don't want a failure, it'll just skip the job.